swear to your day If you leave me a good time, I suck You are like the oxygen I need to survive I'll be honest I'm laughing, they thought of me I am so obsessed I want to chop your own heart I need it back on this My YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris. Um, again, I haven't been on here, I don't think, in like a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. But um, today I'm doing like a office tour and like a slight update because I don't want to go through like all the updates and stuff in my life. One, um, since I haven't been on here, I had my 30th birthday November 9th, so happy late birthday uh, to me if you guys are saying that. Um, had our baby shower on the 11th, like three days after my birthday and then also got my car finally got it here i got the bmw x3m competition which is super dope and i'm gonna do like a car review slash car tour on the channel uh, probably in the next couple weeks and then obviously the uh title of this video is like my office tour so i'll be having an office tour on this video showing you guys my brand new like a thousand square foot space that i have um, to work outside of my home and I still have like my desk set up inside of my house. Uh, it's like a duplicate setup at my office because I do still want to be able to work from home. But I'm going to transition that room into my daughter's room. Uh, that way she can have stuff um, and I like a full place to kind of just do her thing in there. And it'll give me um, an opportunity to get outside the house because uh, in Dallas I had an office. New Jersey I didn't work from home. But it allows me to have more creative freedom um, and again separate like my work life balance. So those are like a couple of the updates. Um, that I have for my life so far. Getting settled in, getting adjusted, finally got like a routine down. Um, getting up at like 6.45, um, from like 6.45 to like 8.30, 9 o'clock, just taking time for myself, going through like my morning routine, tea, um, and kind of just taking time for myself, spending time with my girlfriend in the morning. And then after that, I go to the gym, um, come back, eat, and then head over to my office. Probably get to my office around like 10.30, 11 o'clock, then work from like 11 to seven, call it a day, um, depending on what day it is. But uh, yeah, things have been good, settling in, still getting adjusted to this time difference and shit because I have to communicate with people on the East Coast and email communication can be kind of like all over the place because they're emailing me like six o'clock in the morning and I'm not really paying attention to my emails till 11 and it's down there like, you know, one, two o'clock over there. So I have to get that uh, down pat, but uh, not to drag this out too long. I hope you guys have been well. Appreciate the love and support as always. I'm gonna get back on here and continue posting like daily vlogs and updates on just like growing the company and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower, um, meet up with my boy Jonathan because I flew him out here to do this shoot because uh, he shot all my stuff in New Jersey. Then we're gonna head over to the studio and then I'll give you guys a tour. <laughs> finally made it to my office so I'm gonna show you guys around I would say it's maybe like 85% done so I do want to put some more stuff in here but starting here at the entrance gotta kind of have like a little area for people to sit down just in case you got some type of meeting got some cool chairs here the off-white rug that was in my office previously at my house you know I got to keep a Dyson so I got the Dyson V11 right there then obviously um, artwork that I had at my house, quitting won't bring you closer to your goal. Kind of self-explanatory, so this is kind of the chill area when you first walk in. Then over here, I got my little uh, cart where I gotta take my packages downstairs or drop them off because USPS can't do their damn job and come to your door and pick it up. Sometimes I gotta take it over there. Got a mini fridge right here, 
just in case I need some water. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Ghost, y'all need to sponsor your boy because this Sour Patch little uh, drink right here is off the hook. Plus I got some beet juice in there that my girlfriend made. And then uh, right over here, it's like my little inventory shelf, um, just so when I'm like packing orders, I can pull things out of here. We got our body scrubbers in here. Also got like all the other stuff that goes inside the packages, a couple of the boxes on top of here, uh, the little cards and stuff that go inside of the packaging, etc. This right here, it's like kind of like my packing station. I got my packaging and stuff down here, just in case I need to grab some of those. Um, stickers, tissue paper, all that great stuff. Canvas right here, consistency and persistence breed success. It is a canvas that is available on thecreatureofhabits.com or my personal website. Um, so this is where I basically get all my packing and stuff done, do all my orders, drop them off over there, then take them to USPS or UPS now that we usually use. I got this Sonos Move 2 speaker. Shout out to Sonos because I did a collaboration with them with Best Buy. I really love this speaker. I play music in here and the cool thing is it's portable. So you can just pull it around, take it wherever you want to. And this is a little charger that it stays on. So this is my secondary desk. I think this one is like 70 inches wide or 72 inches wide. It's a little bit larger than the desk that I sit at. But yeah, that's like my whole little like workstation as far as like packing orders. And moving over here, this is a duplicate setup of the setup that I have in my house. I think a lot of people think that I moved that setup over here. I literally just bought the exact same thing. Um, the only thing I did replace is like my mouse. This is the MS, MX Master 3S. I didn't feel like rebuying that, but I do have my mic set up right here so I can do my voiceovers. Got my printer so I can print out all the labels. My monitor, which is a 32 inch um, LG screen. It's like a curved screen. Keyboard, I think from Keytron. And then obviously my MacBook Pro. This desk is from FlexiSpot. Both of these are from FlexiSpot. Uh, I really like it because one, obviously you can sit down and then obviously if you want to stand up, you can obviously just raise this up and be able to stand up here. And then obviously too, for your 90 minute focus sprints, you always got to have that timer ready. So this timer, it's on my Amazon list if you guys want to pick that up. I got my chair. This chair I got on Amazon. It's not the same one that I have in my house, but it's still a comfortable chair. I think it was like 200 bucks. And then we got another canvas right here. Your habits will become your destiny. Um, again, self-explanatory. It's available on the Creature of Habits and my personal website. You guys wanna check that out. Over here, it's kind of just like a, I guess, temporary setup. I got these here to put like cords and stuff inside there. I got my YouTube plaque for 100,000 subscribers. Shout out to y'all for subscribing to the channel. Added a little plant here, a little pathos um, that I picked up from, uh, I believe it was Home Depot. Same one that I had in my house previously. Then this work fucking harder poster that everybody loves. And then I obviously got my little air diffuser right here from Vitruvi. And the scent that I'm gonna have in this motherfucker is the Harvest Spice. So it can smell, you know, harvesting in here. Like it's Halloween or Christmas time or whatever it is. Down here to the big dog. You know what I'm saying? I had to hook my daughter up with the Lamborghini SVJ. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. Got a little engine sound. I know y'all hear that engine sound. And the cool thing is on this, let's see, where's the little door handle? The door handles, it actually goes up. So it's really cool and it's remote controlled. So I'll be able to uh, control it. She won't be driving or anything, obviously. She's not even here yet. Whenever she gets here, she'll have a little Lamborghini SVJ to drive. I picked it up at the car show. I think it was like 300 bucks or something. But this is like the little chill area where me and my friends hang out or if I just want to kick it and chill. Got the couch area right here. It's a cool couch. I will say I had to build out this couch. It was like 200 bucks and it's definitely a $200 couch, but it's comfortable enough to be in here. Got these two little seating areas right here. These I will say are comfortable and worth the money. They were like 500 bucks a piece, but they come in this color, black, tan, like other different colors too but I really enjoyed this. Got the Remember Your Why poster uh, behind us. Right over here, we got the uh, fig plant. I think it's always good to have plants just around your area just to lighten it up and bring some just greenery to the area. Right here, I got two books. Got the uh, Porsche 911 book right here, the 50 years of history. And then also the Rolex book. Obviously we love Rolexes. Got the GMT on right now, the Root Beer colorway. And then I got some other books down here. 
that I read to, but we're not going to get into that. TV, just got like a little regular Samsung, nothing crazy. I think it's like a 55 inch TV. Little sound bar down here, nothing really going on in this area besides Tony the Tiger, we got Astro Boy. Um, and yeah, this is like a little living room setup. I went over to Kith literally like maybe three, four days ago, picked this up. Cool thing is, it's like textured. So it's dope. I feel like it's probably gonna get dirty after a while or something, the basketball running into it. But oh well, that's super dope. Another little duplicate little stand right here just to have something going on, a snake plant, Supreme skateboard, Vitruvi um, air diffuser to kind of spread out the scents. And then also this is an incense holder that I picked up from Kiss. So if you want to burn an incense, light here at the top and then it'll like kind of burn down and then it'll come out of the holes um, and you're able to smell it that way. Then over here, we have this big ass mirror from Bob's. I think this is like a 85 inch tall mirror. I don't know, 90 inch. I don't know, it's tall but I got it on sale. So I really love this mirror and I feel like you should have something here. Just in case you need a little fit check, about to step out, you're good to go as far as that. Over here is the trash area, where we got trash piled up. I got my little uh, dolly right here. That way if I need to take packages down too, I can use this. Uh, the money tree, this is basically the little um, art that I had inside of my house too. And it's kind of self-explanatory. Looking for the money. Got our basketball goal, which I don't know where the hell I put my basketball, but I will get a shot up before we get out. It's actually in here in the inventory room. So this is the inventory room. It's not completely done, um, but we got most of the stuff sorted as far as like the shorts, the shirts. These are the soap dispensers that'll be coming out basically probably like a week or so after you guys see this video. Come in the doubles and then also the singles right here. Uh, we're also shooting the travel bags and stuff, but I got the regular cleaning supplies and stuff in here, all this different stuff. Here's actually the gray travel bags, which you guys can see there. And then just more and more inventory back here, uh, drilling tools, all that great stuff to keep building an office. But here go my basketball, and we gonna see how clutch I am. Cause that's basically the full rundown of my office. You might as well end this out and see if your boy can come in clutch. See if I can get a little, we used to take about three shots. Damn. Oh, my dad came with dunk. Let me see if I can knock these down for y'all. Go through my little. Uh, spit. Let's stop. Let me do one more. There we go. See, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. But. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we can close this shit out. Thanks for tuning in to my motherfucking vlog.